right. Cardio day. Got a little snack because I'm a little hungry. Haven't eaten. I ate a little bit of breakfast. And then I haven't gotten any lunch in yet. I usually eat after I work out. So, Jesus, why is it not opening? Yeah. And I wanted to talk to about. Uh, I wanted to talk about today. About what? Oh, yeah, about this kind of stuff. Diet and you know healthy food and unhealthy food and what does it do? How it affects your physique and how you look. Something finally connected to bodybuilding and you know maybe even health a little bit. I was watching. What actually got me thinking about this is I was watching some reels on my phone and I saw this Indian guy who was trashing or I don't know what's a good word to say or how to describe it. He was completely destroying all this, you know, health food, quick noodles made of whole grain and you know, stuff like this also. Which is like, has no maida, which is white flour. But it has a whole bunch of other stuff, which isn't very healthy for you. Like palm oil and other things. And we do eat that a lot. And it's interesting that everything is marketed in such a way that the idea is to feed you some garbage under the name of something which is healthy and good for you, like ketchup or, you know, where you think it's just tomato paste, but it's rotten pumpkins and a whole bunch of sugar and stabilizers and 2% tomato at best. And, you know, other things like that. So, yeah. Actually, the less processed food, and again, I might be a hypocrite here, I do eat processed food, but the less you eat it, the healthier you're going to be. But it is very tasty. Because, you know, if it wasn't tasty, nobody would buy it. And then the companies would go out of business. So, it would be a problem for them. So they make it tasty. But not healthy. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking about today. And I was also thinking about diet and how that's actually the most important part of, uh, you know, bodybuilding or any sport where you're looking to change the way you look. It's, if you ask me, I think it's, maybe I'm pushing it, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's 90% diet or maybe 80% diet and then 20% what you do in the gym. That was interesting to me because I was thinking about it myself and my wife came to me and she was like, oh, I want to lose some weight, a few kilos, nothing too serious. She's like, I want to do some intermediate fasting, intermittent, I don't know what it's called, man. Whatever, when you don't eat 16 hours and then eat between six, eight hours, or you know, you don't eat 18 hours and then you eat in that gap between six hours or four hours. So she wanted to do that because you lose a lot of weight like that. And you avoid sugar and you avoid other things. And processed food, I think, is number one thing that you should avoid. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying it while eating some junk cornflakes. If you want to lose weight. I am in the very beginning of my cut. So I'm not too worried about that yet. But I think two months in... Uh, I'm gonna cut out all the sugar for the last three weeks or four weeks and yeah that's kind of the plan but it works it's very hard it's very hard to maintain that discipline and actually not eat garbage or processed food because you always see it in the shops and you always want some and you know you have cravings sometimes and whatnot but if you're interested in keeping a good diet 
uh, physique, you need to have a good diet. And you can have cheat meals, but not too many. Not six days a week you have a cheat meal and then one day a week you, you know, eat well. Or even if you do three, four days, three days clean and four days unclean or the other way, it's still not enough to rapidly see some results. So, yeah, here's my thoughts on diet and stability and all this kind of garbage that is being promoted everywhere. It's kind of sad in one sense, but in another sense, as ironic as it might sound, some, some stuff tastes really good. And I mean, I'm not glad that I'm addicted to it, to some junk food, to some tasty chips or, you know, to MSG or other things that like make saliva shoot out of your mouth because it's so good. But it does taste really good and it does make you happy. It does shoot that dopamine in your head. So I don't know what to tell you. Maybe if we didn't have processed food, when I would eat a carrot straight from the field, I would also shoot dopamine into my head, but I don't know about that. 